three bows that go on top of this, but I'm gonna make them loop bows. I've seen videos where they put the video, the, the um, ribbon together like this, and then grab up the other side and do like this, and keep going like this. And you can do it that way, but what you'll have to do is you'll have to go in the middle of your, your bow and put your twist tie in there at the end or a pipe cleaner. Some people call them um, Chanel's, whatever you want to do and put them inside. I just find it easier for me to do it this way. So find the best way for you to do a bow. And that bow stays tighter and it's fuller. So I'll make a full loop. And I do twist mine because that's the wrong side. You don't want the wrong side against the right side or that's what your bow will look like. So I twist it, hold on to the piece that I twisted. And bring my loop up again, holding that center, making sure I continue to hold this center and grab it again down there in the center, making sure my loops are the same height, same length. Twist it, grab the center, go to the other side, and grab it and keep going just like this. So you wanna make sure that your loops are all the same height. The best bows to put on here are about 10 yards of bow, uh, 10 yards of ribbon to make the bow depending on how your loop, the sizes of your loops. And you wanna practice with larger loops, smaller loops, whichever way you think is best. But when you get like a fan, you do your loops from side to side and you get like a fan, that's the best place to stop in doing your bows. Okay, then we've got a fan. That's what I meant by a fan. And usually this is anywhere between, depending on the, the first loop, the size of the first loop that you do, it's anywhere from 12 to 15 loops. And you can do 20 loops if you want to, depending on how full you want your bow. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 loops. At the end, you still want to twist it so that that loop stays on the right side and all your loops are the same size. You zip tie, take it through the middle, just like that. Pull it up just a little bit, then take another zip tie. Slide it through there, because this is what you're gonna use to attach it to whatever you're gonna put it on. You're gonna put it on your garland, you're gonna put it on your tree, you're gonna put it on your post outside, mailbox, whatever you're gonna put it on. You can use that zip tie to tie it on. And make sure it's tight. And use your pliers to cut the end. bows you have three bows and you've added it to your tree with a zip tie if you want to add streamers to your tree cut the length of ribbon you'd like to have on your on your tree place it on your tree at the top prior to putting your bow on you can also have streamers attached to your bow this is done by creating the last loop the length of the streamer doubled then cut 